Hi, I'm Brian Lane, Senior Product Manager, Imaging Software at Schneider Electric. In this video, we're going to go over how to set up an object removal analytic. First thing you want to do is get on to the Cerex or Spectre HD web GUI page. Under Settings and Events, you'll see the Analytic tab. Once you're in there, you want to make sure that you have a profile already set up and running. Now, if you don't know how to, to set up a profile and calibrate a scene, there's a video on how to do that. This video is just going to go through the actual object removal behavior. So over here on your right hand side, you'll see Select Behaviors. Click on Object Removal. And under Object Removal, you can draw a rectangle or you can draw a polygon around an object that you're concerned about. In this particular demo, uh, we're going to assume that there's an expensive monitor here that we're worried about someone taking and we're going to take the uh, rectangle button here and click on it and we're going to draw a rectangle more of a square rather around this particular object okay and under zone list it says zone one if we want we can name this and the reason why you would want to name it is when it pops up under the um, the analytic feedback section it will actually um, list where the stream came from. So in this particular case, I'm going to type in cubicle just so I can remember exactly where it came from. If you click on enable advanced options, you'll see it says sensitivity here. If you change the sensitivity here, it will override the sensitivity under the profile settings. Okay, and it's just for this particular analytic. So it will not override the sensitivity if you have more than one analytic running. Only this particular one. Under Enable Alarm, it's already checked. And this will generate an alarm that will be received by the head end. You set up your head end to do whatever you want when you receive an alarm. For example, start recor recording, close a relay, put a red box around a video window, etc. Or you can set up a source and a handler to have the camera run an action. The next thing here is Alarm severity. You have a choice of four things, minor, normal, major, and critical. I'll set this to normal. And what this means is if your head end is set up for critical, for example, it will only receive critical alarms. It will ignore anything below that. Dwell time is the, uh, it defines the time in seconds that the alarm triggered zone turns back to a normal state. The delay before alarm is how long a vehicle or an object or whatever has been in the zone before it triggers an alarm. So in this particular case, I'm going to leave it at zero, which means it's the second that anything is removed from this zone right here, and this, this monitor for example, um, as soon as it's removed, it will trigger the alarm. I could have it wait five, ten seconds, etc. Okay, so that's all there is to the object removal. What you want to do is make sure that your profile is running. You want to make sure you click on Activate Behavior, and you want to make sure that you actually save the scene. Okay, and then once you've done that, go here to Live, click on the Live button. Under your Event Stream, you can choose Primary, Secondary, Quick View, and Event. In this case, Click on Event Stream so you can check to make sure that it's working. Now, go ahead and try the analytic. Make sure that it's working correctly. Have someone take the object away. And you'll see here that it pops up. It says, Object Removal Detected. The Expensive Monitor Profile was triggered in Cubicle. And now you actually can tell that the analytic works. And that's it. That's how you set up Object Removed. Thank you.